morning when it all visit you. Today, I started by a bar in public school where we are phase 2 is going to explain my Atal Marathon project. I would especially like to thank my teachers such as Mamta Ma'am and Hayat Ma'am to guiding me throughout the way and helping me in my difficult times. The name of my project is The Fountain of Electricity. So once I went to hometown while there was pandemic and there were so many power cuts that I wasn't even able to attend my online classes. Moreover, at the night times because of these power cuts, many students are not able to study. Also when I done research on the newspaper, I got to know that more than 35 million houses are there in the villages which are deprived of electricity. So, the components which I have used in my project is, we can say I have used prototype of container for bottles, I have used straw, a motor and a DC motor which will help us to generate the electricity. The main principle in which my project is based is the Heron's fountain, though there are some new innovations to make it more efficient. Here is the blueprint that, blueprint that how it will work. Mainly it is the based on the famous famous model for endless fountain named Heron's fountain but the adding to it I have put an AC generated turbine at the top where the fountain occurs. So first I will explain that how this Heron's fountain works. The things which we will need to make a basic model of this is bottle B, bottle A, a bowl and three straws named 1, 2, 3. <coughs> First thing we have to do is that we have to fill water in bowl, bottle A and bottle B and fix the bowl with bottle B by straw 1, fix the bowl with bottle A by straw 3 and fix bottle AB by straw 2. Then we have to pour water in the bowl. As we will pour water here, due to gravity, bottle will rush into straw 1 and reach bottle B. As there will be rise in the uh, water level, there will be pressure, air pressure created at the top of the bottle B. So air will rush out through straw 2 and will fill the air in bottle A. As there will be more air, it will put pressure on the water this time. And because of the pressure, water will rush out, rush out from the straw 3 again to the pool. This process continues till the water level in bottle B reaches the tip of straw 2 or the water level in bottle A reaches to the tip of straw 3. Dear, this is the work and mo working model I have made in my project. You can easily see without any electricity, anything, only by the gravity and air pressure, this fountain is occurring continuously. Now the question arises that how to reset it. As I told that if the water reaches to the tip of straw 2 or tip of straw 3, it will stop working. Now you will arise question that how it can be endless. To solve this problem, I have made a figure. Here it is. The thing which I thought to do is that I will fix this Heron's fountain in a particular base and add pivots to it. The pivot will allow free rotation and uh, I forgot to tell you earlier that if we rotate the uh, Heron's fountain two times upside down it will get reset uh, on its own so first thing is that i have put a pivot so it can be freely rotatable and i have also fixed a heavy weight at the top so that if the heavy weight is pushed only a little bit it can result up to rotating the whole uh, figure so if uh, we will use the heavy weight to rotate it twice so it will get reset and you can continue generating the electricity uh, I have made this uh, working model of it. You can take a look at this. You can see the fountain is coming out endlessly without any energy, only using the gravity and air pressure. The benefit of my project is that it can be set up anywhere without a river. Many will say that we can set up a dam as it will generate more electricity. But dams will flood all the areas around it, making it difficult for the farmers to do the crops. But also, if the dams will collect the water, which may cause that of many aquatic.
aquatic life which produce a harmful gas which may hamper the health of the villagers so i also sent this project in many inter school competitions and in my own school science exhibition and got appreciation from the experts so i thought to participate in this utter marathon 